Variation in Animals So far, the scientists have identified around 290,000 species of plants and 12,50,000 species of animals and 5 million species of bacteria living on our planet. Animals can be divided into two groups that is vertebrate and invertebrate. Vertebrates have a backbone. They have a firm body because of the muscles that connect to their skeleton. Invertebrates do not have a backbone. They have soft inner bodies that are held in shape either by a flexible covering of outer cells or by a hard covering called as exoskeleton. More about mammals. Mammals are classified into three subgroups. Marsupials. They give birth to tiny underdeveloped young that develop in a pouch outside the mother's body. Example, kangaroo. Monotremes. They lay eggs but suckle their young. Example, platypus. Placentals. The young are attached to a placenta inside the womb. Newborns are already developed. Example, bear. More about arthropods. Arthropods are divided into four subgroups. Crustacea. They have gills. More than six legs and two pairs of antennae. Example, crab, barnacle, lobster, shrimp. Insects. They have six legs and many have two pairs of wings. Example, dragonfly, moth, ladybird, wasp, arachnids. They have eight legs, no wings and their bodies are in two segments. Example, spider, mite. Myriapods. They have many feet and long bodies of many segments. Example, millipedus, centipedus. Variation in human beings. Organisms of the same species are similar but not identical. There are many ways in which they are different from each other. The differences that occur both between different species and within the same species are called variation. The members of this family tree are related and so they share certain similar characteristics such as hair color and eye color. Shared family characteristics are inherited from parents. So why don't all family members look exactly alike. Variation can come about for two reasons. What are they? Children inherit characteristics from their parents. Each child inherits a different combination of characteristics. This is called inherited variation. Other characteristics are affected by a person's surroundings. This is called environmental variation. Inherited or environmental Deciding if a characteristic is inherited or caused by environmental factors can cause a lot of discussion. Scientists have now decided that only four features are truly inherited and not affected by the environment at all.